Hey, Dad. What? Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, what about? About how you embarrassed me yesterday? I embarrassed you? How did I embarrass you? Yeah, in front of Joe. The whole, uh, the little flex you did. The little flex I did? Yeah. By what? By... The whole, oh, I'm the boss thing. Oh. Tom, well, you kind of, uh, made me say that. I didn't make you say that, and you really embarrassed me when you, when you did that. Okay. Look. I only said that because why, Tom? Why did I say that to you? Because you sat there and you turned around and said you're going you're, you're gonna to cut Joe out of a video. Right. I mean, you heard how he was talking to me. I did hear how he was talking to you. Exactly. But you came at him first. What? No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You came out right away and like, Hey, Joe, how come you, uh, you did this and blah, 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 like that to him? Okay, well, if he didn't do it, then I it wouldn't have gone down that way, you know? You came at him and you're like, Why didn't you tell me that you guys were going to go on vacation? Why'd you make me look like an idiot? Uh, what, am I supposed to just live with it? No, but you... Come on, Tom. How long have we known Joe? Right? It's same. I'm the same way, though. I mean, if you come out and put somebody right on the spot like that, of course he's going to defend himself. Right? You came out. You came out right on him like that. And Joe, he, he first of all, Joe is not a confrontational kind of guy. You shouldn't have confronted him like that. And if you know, you sit there and you, you told me, yo, I thought we were equals. Well, if we're equals, right? Then why would you turn around and, and tell me you're going to cut him out without talking to me first? Because if we're equals, then wouldn't we both have the decision-making power about that? No, absolutely not. If we're equals, then we have to talk to the other person. We can't just make a decision. Okay, that's fair enough. My thing with it, though, is that you just, like, out and were just like, I'm the boss. Saw oh, me. I'm, I'm Mr. Big Shot. I, well, I felt like I kind of had, yeah, I know. I'm sorry I embarrassed you. I didn't mean to embarrass you. And uh, I kind of felt like I just needed to put you in your place because you, you right away said that you're going to cut him out of a video. After he taunted me a couple times about the whole vacation thing and the, and the whole scenario in general. I look, I don't, I don't say that he's right in what he, you know, I know that your feelings were hurt that you're not going on a vacation and everything. I get it. But it's like he felt like you were coming at him just then and making a bigger deal out of it than what it should have been. He made and a joke about it. How was he upset about it at Joe all? Joe makes jokes. I mean, that's what he does. I mean... Yeah, but th that wasn't just like, a, like, haha, I'm trying to kind of keep it cool. That that was a like, okay. haha. Okay, Tom. Joke. Did you ever hear the expression, two wrongs don't make a right? Yes, yeah, so we, we just okay. brought this up the other day. Three rights make a left, etc. Well, you know, you sit... I heard something. I heard that too. You, you sat there and you're attacking him, right? Right. That he felt, whether you were or not, excuse me, is, is irrelevant because he felt it, right? So then he attacked you, right? Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that you turn around and then attack him again. And then now, now you, how many wrongs is there? If you didn't come Same out, if you didn't come out, him. if you didn't come out and say anything to him, to begin with, then none of that would have happened. If he never lied to you to begin with, none of it ever would have happened. But but Tom, the whole thing about like of you saying to me that we're why do you keep saying it like it's completely my fault? No no no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about why I I'm trying to explain to you why settle down first of all, right? There's no reason to get all huffy and puffy. If you want to be, if you, you can't come at somebody and say we're equals, but yet you're making a decision on cutting him out of the videos. I mean, how wrong would that be that, that you kept the camera off of him the whole time when he's part of the lounge just like you and I? Because that's our decision whether he's in but the you're, But you're doing this because you, you felt like he said something that bothered you, right? Yeah. That, that he didn't come out and tell you that they were, uh, that he would, I guess when you were over here, that he was going on the trip. That he, he didn't know. He didn't know that he should have came out there because he was kind of shocked from what he said that you, you didn't know. He thought you knew. But they, so that he played along with you. Why he, 
lied about it. He could he have played along with you. He, he could have easily corrected it right then and there, and just been like, "Actually, Tom, no, I'm gonna be going on the vacation with him." I would have been like, "Oh," and then I probably would have been a bit he, upset at you since I was, I was you would have lied say, to me either, too. No matter how you look at it, you were gonna get mad, right? Right. Yeah. So he, you know, he. But like you said, two wrongs don't make a right. Right. But that doesn't mean that you should be wrong on top of it all and then say and say something to him about that you're going to cut him out of a video. Well, I mean, come on, Tom. You can't you can't make a decision like that if you think you're equal to the on the channel and by all means, when I say equal and everything, I mean I'm talking about like yeah, we you know, anything that we're going to do decision if somebody says, "Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we do this challenge or uh, do a chill and a girl and blah blah blah?" We we, we we talk about it with the uh, you know the other person, but we don't sit there and say, "I'm going to cut somebody out" without talking to the other person. That's not a partnership, right? Okay. Well, that's why I flexed and and and, and countered with what I did. Well, yes, but you also went about it in a really not conducive way. Okay, I, you could have taken me aside, you know, been like, Tom, 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 just hold on for a second. Could you come here for a second? And we could have gone inside. You could have hashed out the like, no, I'm the boss, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You, yeah. di you didn't have to go. I'm the boss, me. So I embarrassed you in front of Joe. You embarrassed me real bad in front of Joe. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, but I want you to. I want you to also. I was, I, I was wrong for saying that in front of Joe. I should have took you aside. But I want you to also admit that you were wrong on saying that you would cut him out. I don't know if I could do that in good faith. It's simply because it all stems back to the lies that were told to me. Tom, it, it, it actually doesn't make any sense. You're, you're sitting there, you want me to just say that I'm at fault, but you won't take any, any responsibility for what you said. That makes no sense. I mean, you got to take responsibility for what you said. You can't, you, and, and Tom, you can't sit there and say, I'm going to cut so-and-so out of a video. You can't, you can't make that decision. Right, and that's why I thought that we should have had a conversation aside and... and okay. Look, and, I, I do uh, understand. I do understand. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I, I'll, I'll admit, I was wrong. I shouldn't have said it in front of Joe. Didn't think about it. That I wasn't doing it to embarrass you. Sir, sure felt like it. <laughs> I was, no, I wasn't doing it to embarrass you. I was, get, I was doing it to put you in your place. Which sounds like you were trying to embarrass me. No, uh, no, I was. Counter again, you could have done it better in a way that would have felt more I, like an actual discussion. Absolutely, almost everything we do in life, we can do better, right? Right. Okay. Well, the same thing with you. You could have did better too by not, if, like, saying anything about cutting them out because that was just out of, uh, you know, I, matter of fact, what was that from a place of of anger? Right. Yeah, I'd say so. Right. So you got to sit there and say that you were wrong also. I'll say that I was wrong, but you have to take, you know, responsibility for what you've said too. And to tell you the truth, Tom, you should take responsibility. It's like, you came at Joe first. Joe didn't come at you first. You're the one that opened it up and said something about him. Why didn't you come out and say it? And it was the way you said it to him. Of course he's going to get defensive. I mean, that I should have been more prepared for him getting defensive over it because... Anybody that gets anybody that ever gets confronted with something. Well, we know Joe. You make a general statement about how there's like a splat of beer on the ground, and Joe's me like, "Oh, it wasn't me." Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, oh, if you say something about, you know, he, somebody farted, and then and, and you look at him, he gets defensive because, oh, you know, you say it's me because I'm heavy, you know, like that, right? Right. Yeah. Um, but I think that's a little bit of everybody. I think everybody gets defensive when somebody comes at them, Tom. I mean, you do it. You do it all I the time. It. I do it. I know. And, I, and I'll admit, I should not have said that in front of Joe like that. Um, I can't take it back. I can just say I'm sorry for that. You know? Um, and I say that I was wrong. I should have I should have pulled you aside. I should have talked to you, you know, aside and tried to cool you down afterwards. But don't forget, we had... Uh, some challenges that we had to do right after that, and I really didn't have time either. Now I'm making excuses now. You are. But we did have, you know, we had a couple challenges to do, so I wanted to make sure that you were not going to cut him out of any challenges, because that would have just been wrong. That's fair enough. Alright, well...
Good well, talk. I, I'm glad that you. I'm glad that you did want to talk about it, and I am sorry. I, I I will try not to embarrass you ever again. I can't promise that won't happen because I am your dad. Part of our job is to embarrass you. Yes, there's you a know. difference between like familial no, right. embarrassment know, and I that. Know. I know, and you and you're you know you're you're not a little kid, you know. And with the channel, I do rely on you a lot. Right. Right. And I'm I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Didn't mean it that way. I just felt like. That's the only thing I could do to get you to not cut him out of a video. You understand? It was an I, in the moment decision. I did it the decision, wrong way. Did it the wrong it way. It could have been handled better, as we right. as has been established. Right. I'm glad that you at least recognize it. I do, and I appreciate it. And uh, now I just need you to recognize that you know that you had some fault in that stuff too. That was being said. You I know? recognize it. Well, right. Uh, that's it. I mean, you're not sorry that you said that you were going to cut him out. I mean, if I told you sorry, would that really count? No. I wasn't saying it to no, you. No, it does. It, to him. it does. That I that I know that you understand that you sh you shouldn't have said I'm I'll cut him out of the videos. Right, and I've said that I do understand. Okay, okay. that's all I need to hear. All right. Okay, we'll both we'll both work on being better. Yeah. Now get yeah. in the house. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh no. I'm just kidding, Tom. Jeez. <laughs> Oh, no, no, you already said it. Back inside I go.